Florida has paid fewer than half of the 1.4 million claims for unemployment compensation. Complaints from those trying to navigate the system continue to roll in. As News 4 Jacks reporter Jake Stofan tells us, a petition has gone to the governor asking him to do something now. Despite applying for unemployment in March and spending countless hours attempting to get her claim through, Elizabeth Stuka doesn't know why she hasn't seen a penny in benefits. We called 108 <laughs> times yesterday to get, dis to get disconnected. It's the same story for Stephanie Jones, who drove an hour and a half to DEO headquarters seeking answers. No one was available to come and speak with me about it. And things are getting desperate. The not knowing is killing you because you don't know how to budget or prepare. I've exhausted all of my savings. More than 11,000 frustrated Floridians have signed a petition demanding the governor increase maximum weekly payouts and extend eligibility from 12 to 26 weeks. They also want him to waive barriers for eligibility so more can qualify. We now have $4 billion sitting in that fund. The problem is it can't get out the door. A handful of Democratic state lawmakers have spent the last few weeks here in the state's capital bringing their constituent stories directly to DEO in hopes of getting them paid. Senator Randolph Bracey says the situation is a matter of life and death for some. The constituent lived in my district and said that they were at the point of they were at a breaking point and they consider taking their life. Legislative leaders oppose a special session on unemployment, so it's up to the governor to make short-term fixes. But like those we spoke with today, our inquiry to the governor asking if he's considering additional action went unanswered. But we'll keep asking. Reporting from the state capitol, Jake Stofan, Channel 4, the local station. The governor did take some action today to try to help those who are struggling financially. He extended his executive order banning evictions and foreclosures for 45 more days. That order would have expired this Saturday.